Okay. That is hot. Very spicy. Too hot. Every time I take a mouthful, I think, I must be nearly finished. But somehow, it keeps going. Why does it keep going? My stomach is like, dude, what are you doing? Just stop. That was hot. That was really, really, really hot. Okay, boys and girls. So this is the third kind of spicy noodle that I'm gonna try. I don't know, buckwheat noodles or vermicelli? Oh, I don't know what it is. But it's these kind of like see-through noodles. So let's have a look. Whoa. All right, there are six condiment or sauce packets and no English to be seen anywhere. So I think we're gonna to have to refer to uh, a friend to help me with this. This is, this is vinegar from Sichuan, spicy sauce. This is a soup pack, bean sprouts. This is crispy peas. And this is dried vegetables. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, that looks like stock. <laughs> Gross. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. In a weird sort of way. All right, maybe that's enough. Okay, yeah, Charlotte says, yeah, you can add everything in it. Thank you, Charlotte. Oh, uh, maybe, whew. Maybe this is the sour part. <sighs> Man, that is funny smelling. So, smell, it was fragrant. Now it's a bit quite, vinegar smelling um, the, it looks it doesn't look super appealing because it's these um, uh, vermicelli sort of see-through <clears throat> noodles which can sometimes look a little bit like jellyfish let's give it a try Wow that sour that sour taste is surprisingly really nice it really like the mixture of the spicy and the sour together is really nice I'm surprised at that even the crispy peas are kind of nice in a in a weird sort of way um, it, kind, it feels a little bit like they're not cooked well, I mean they're not cooked but um, surprisingly nice uh, let's go for another mouthful <sighs> Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty sour. Um, basically quite nice, not too spicy. I know I always say that. Um, of the three spicy ones, this is the least spicy. Um, I'm getting the lovely um, Sichuan prickly ash, sort of numbing spicy taste right now. I mean, I, I gotta say, I quite like the fact that they've managed to capture the sort of Sichuan taste without it being overwhelmingly spicy. It's quite nice. I mean, I think I might put in maybe half the amount of vinegar next time, but uh, that's pretty good. What do you want? I'm trying to make a video. How can I make a video when you're being silly? So, how to conclude all of this nonsense? Well, uh, first of all, awards. Um, the spiciest goes to the uh, Ghost Spicy Sichuan Style Spicy Chicken Flavor uh, Cup Noodle. This was ridiculously hot and spicy. I, I, I mean, I just don't know what to say about it. I, I pretty much couldn't taste or think about anything else apart from just how spicy this was. This is the Korean Samyang uh, spicy chicken, super spicy chicken <laughs> noodles. Um, this one I think gets the award for the most flavoursome, whilst also being ridiculously spicy. Uh, it also gets the um, chicken in a uh, bikini award, because chicken 
in the beginning. Finally, this one, which I still don't know how to pronounce, so I will edit that in later. This one, which is obviously called the Lei Noodles. This one gets the nicest design award, the most sachets award, and also the most sour award. And that pretty much brings this whole exercise to an end. And what did we learn? I don't think we really learnt anything. I have genuinely got no idea why people... No, that's not true. I've got some idea why people don't like these noodles. And as I've been making these videos, people have sent me their own sort of theories about why these noodles were left on the shelf. Number one, obviously, not everybody likes spicy food, at least. Not all the time, if you want to grab a quick lunch, you don't want to be setting your mouth on fire and uh, causing some toilet related uh, difficulties perhaps the next day. So I think that's the first reason why these ones got left behind. Um, second, I think that a lot of people were kind of scared off by flavours um, that perhaps they didn't really recognise or wouldn't normally have put together with um, instant noodles or cup noodles, um, such as the lobster bisque and the tom yum, and even to an extent, this one as well. I think people tend to like, you know, their pretty basic noodle flavors, your, your pork bone broth and your, and your chicken and your, and your fried beef kind of flavors, mushroom maybe. Um, and I think people like to stick with that. I think there's also quite a big sort of price element to this as well. Um, I, I don't think people really want to spend a lot of money on instant noodles, even if you pay for nicer or better or more healthy instant noodles, because they're instant noodles. This is kind of the deluxe burger effect. You know, you don't, nobody really wants to go out and spend $500 on a burger. You know, you prefer to eat something a little bit more special. A burger is supposed to be sort of like simple, basic, you know. And I think, I think instant noodles are the same, you know. Nobody really wants to spend 50 or 80 or 100 dollars on a bowl of instant noodles. Finally, I think um, there's, there's definitely an element of people wanting to stick with what they know that they like. And what's been quite interesting to me doing this process is the number of friends and to an extent students as well who have um, sent me messages and said, oh, I've always wondered what that noodle tasted like and now that you've tried it, maybe I'll give it a go. So that's been a... That's been an interesting and unforeseen um, little bonus to this whole process. But I think what it means is that people don't always really like to take a risk on trying something new. Um, and I'm quite glad that I took a risk on trying these ones. I mean, maybe not this one, but you know, in general, I, I'm, I'm pleased that I tried out um, some of these noodles. And, and next time I go, um, out and buy some noodles, then I'll have a better idea of, of what I might like and what other people might like as well. But um, until you've tried something, you won't really know. And that's it. Wait a minute. No, that's not it. There's one more noodle I've got to try. <laughs>